is soil fertility decreasing? Are agricultural soils less fertile than they were, say, 50 years ago? This is a common sentiment I see expressed all over the place. Our agricultural practices are degrading our soils. We're over-harvesting, and that's decreasing the fertility to a level that produces food today that's less nutritious than it was in the past. At the same time, we have this new movement to remineralize the soil. The soil is running out of minerals, so we have to add them back in. So people are suggesting to add things like rock dust. The organic movement is also really big on solving these problems. We need to get more organic matter into the soil so our nutrient levels get up to a point where we can actually produce good food. Is any of this necessary? Do we really have a problem? Is our soil fertility going down? The answer is going to surprise you. Plants grow by absorbing nutrients from the soil. When we remove the food from the fields, we also remove nutrients. It seems very logical to conclude that the soil must be losing nutrients. But there is another process at play. Soil was originally created by the decomposition of rocks. As rocks break down, they release nutrients into the soil. With the exception of nitrogen, rocks are the source of the nutrients our plants need. Keep in mind that the term rocks includes things like silt and sand, which are just small rocks. Nutrients are also added back to the soil through fertilization, increasing soil fertility. The microbes in the soil help break down the rock and make the nutrients available to plants. The organic matter in soil, including all life forms, acts like a storage system for holding nutrients. The whole process is very complex, and we don't really understand very much of what goes on. We can measure nutrient levels in soil on a macro scale and look at water-soluble nutrients, but that does not show us the total amount of nutrients in soil. There are too many factors at play to really know what the nutrient levels are in the soil. A good way to measure soil fertility is to look at plant growth and measure the nutrients in plants. If they have low levels, it is probably due to low soil fertility. We can ask the question, is food less nutritious today? In the late 1990s, several studies were done that compared the nutrient levels of today's food to those of 50 years ago. They found that nutrient levels were lower today. People quickly concluded that this was proof of a decline in soil fertility. Modern agriculture has used up the nutrients in our soil, and now our food supply is suffering. If you go back and review the studies, you quickly realize that the researchers never concluded that our soil was depleted. The studies gave several possible explanations for their results. The popular press and special interest groups cherry-picked the data that supported their cause and started reporting that our food was much less nutritious and that our soils were depleted. A popular quote for one of the studies is that copper levels dropped 80%, and this is quickly extrapolated in headlines to Fruits and vegetables are 80% less nutritious. The reality is that only copper had such high numbers in the study, and the lower copper levels are probably due to the fact that we stopped using toxic copper pesticides. No one bothered to ask if the higher copper levels 50 years ago were actually safe for us. Here is what one of the most commonly referenced studies actually said. As a group, the 43 foods show apparent statistically reliable declines for six nutrients, protein, calcium, phosphorus, iron, riboflavin, and ascorbic acid, but no statistically reliable changes for seven other nutrients. We suggest that any real declines are most easily explained by changes in cultivated varieties between 1950 and 1999 in which there may be trade-offs between yield and nutrient content. Note that in order to see the so-called statistically reliable declines, they had to group 43 different types of food into one group. As individual foods, they did not see a decline. There are many issues with this kind of historical review. 
The sampling techniques and testing procedures changed a lot during the 50-year period. The varieties grown have changed. Due to globalization, food is now grown in different places, and different soils can produce food with very large differences in nutritional values. Robin Marles has done an extensive review of these studies and concluded that 1. Mineral nutrient composition of vegetables, fruits, and grains is not declining. 2. Allegations of decline due to agricultural soil mineral depletion are unfounded. 3. Changes are within natural variation ranges and are not nutritionally significant. And 4. Eating the recommended daily servings provides adequate nutrition. The varieties grown today may be slightly less nutritious. Some have suggested a factor of 10 to 15 percent, but the difference is not significant given our access to food, at least in developed countries. Food is not less nutritious today. Are soils less nutritious? The examination of nutrients in food over time does not support the idea that soils are less nutrient-rich today compared to the past. Another way to look at historical data is to compare the ratios of calcium, magnesium, and potassium. These macronutrients are very important for plant growth and exist in different amounts in soils. They are also commonly added as fertilizer if levels get too low. When the level of these three nutrients is examined, we find that over time, the ratio in plants has remained the same. This suggests that these nutrients are either being depleted proportionally, which is very unlikely, or that they are not being depleted. These nutrients are routinely measured in agricultural soils, and the results suggest that soil fertility is not declining. Plants don't use many nutrients. How can we grow food year after year and not run out of nutrients? An important fact is that plants don't use a lot of nutrients. Van Helmont did an interesting experiment in 1684 where he showed that you could grow a 164-pound tree from a couple of ounces of soil. The amount of minerals in plants is very small compared to the amount in soil. But how small is it? Consider this calculation. Soil contains 1 to 5 percent iron. Let's use an average of 2 percent, which is 400,000 milligrams per square foot, in the plow layer. A carrot weighs 50 grams and contains 0 0.3 milligrams of iron, so that one square foot of soil has enough iron to grow 1.3 million carrots. That is a lot more than 50 years of farming. And keep in mind that iron is continually added to soil by the degradation action of microbes on rocks. Plants don't grow without nutrients. An important concept about plant growth is commonly overlooked. Plants, like animals, are programmed by genetics. Their genetics determines which nutrients they need in order to grow and function correctly. A significant decrease in any of the required nutrients results in poor growth, sickness, or death. Agricultural plants are growing bigger and producing more than ever before. This fact alone indicates that they are getting the nutrients they need. The nutrient levels in soil may be going down, but they have not reached a critical point where it becomes important to remineralize the soil above what is currently being done with fertilizers. What does all this mean for the gardener? Well, if agricultural soils are not losing fertility, you can be pretty sure that your backyard gardens aren't either. After all, agriculture is much more intensive and harvests a lot more food than we do in our garden. If they don't have a problem, we probably don't have a problem either. If we add a little bit of compost or some manure to our gardens every year, that's plenty. Ornamental gardens don't need any extra fertilizer. Stop fertilizing your ornamental beds. I grow several thousand different kinds of plants in my garden. I don't fertilize when I plant and I don't fertilize in subsequent years. This garden has been going for 22 years, and 
None of those ornamental plants have ever been fertilized. Now, a vegetable garden is a little different. I'm in a cold climate. We want to grow our food fast, so I might put a little compost into that bed. But the rest of your gardens, they don't need to be fertilized. Unless you know you have a specific nutrient deficiency, and the only way for you to know that is to get your soil tested. People are way over fertilizing their garden. Let's be kind to the environment and stop that practice. If you have clay soil and you want to fix that problem, have a look at this video here. And if you're concerned about pH, have a look at this video here. Happy gardening.